exclusive look at the Potash Twins' brand new video for their song Crypto Cowboy. They played with some of the biggest names in music from John Legend and Bret Michaels to Chance the Rapper. And they're not only turning up the heat on stage, but in the kitchen as well. It makes you want some more of that. Oh, 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 see what I did I there? I see what you did there. <laughs> Deep and Ezra Potash join us now with their own take on Campfire favorite s'mores. First of all, I just saw Brett Michaels. Oh, you oh, did? I don't yeah. know that anybody has more fun performing. Oh, my God. Yet. Brett is that the best. So oh, my fun. God. He is the best. We love playing. All right. Well, you guys sounded great. I would have loved to heard some more of your music. I will do that in my off time. First, let's get to this. How did you go from music to s'mores, and it is the same kind of love of creativity. It is, it absolutely is. So the way we run our band is similar to how Chef runs his kitchen, and the same way we write music is kind of how we approach writing uh, recipes, and so. I mean, think of texture, harmony, the words we use to describe food are music terms. Right. So, I mean, it's oh. not a big jump, but we didn't go from jazz right into s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, that's, that's a hard turn. It is. Yeah, it we, is. We've, got, we've got three s'mores mm -hmm. to make yes. this morning. We're going to start here uh, with, with melon and prosciutto. Yeah, look, okay, so we're from the Midwest. <laughs> I and thought we, it was chocolate and mushrooms. No, no. Uh, chocolate no, and no, mushrooms. No, no, that's <laughs> Although, that's how I do it. <laughs> chocolate and mushrooms. Yeah, that's now weird. you have me thinking. But, no, look, when it comes to cooking, there really are no rules. And for us, we were like, okay, what's something really fun that we can do on a twist? That's something everybody knows. And we're at the end of the summer now, and I think, you know, we're getting a little bit tired of the usual s'more. So that's why we came up with some amazing savory s'more ideas. And the first one we're going to do is prosciutto, melon, basil, and mozzarella. And for it to really be a s'more, there has to be something gooey, there has to be something crunchy, mm -hmm. and there has to be something that you kind of put over the fire. So the thing that's over the fire is our mozzarella here. So you said you're from the Midwest. Are you yeah. guys from Wisconsin? No. Nebraska. Oh, no. Okay. Although I mean, we like, do maybe it's the cheese. We do love our cheese curds, yeah. though. We do. We do. <laughs> okay. So... Show us the art of the drizzle. Well, you know, this is simple, but for, the, for to get a real drizzle, you need to get some good height to it. Okay. But look at oh, that. Oh, wow. drizzle bay here. Yeah, drizzle. Okay. See, I don't want to get it all over yeah. my arm here, but yeah, <laughs> exactly. There's nothing better than a good drizzle of balsamic vinegar. And then you've got to put sure. it on top and smash it down, yeah. right? Oh, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. One of you has to join me. One of you has to join me, too. Come on. Oh, there got you go. it? Okay. I do. And then, so next up, you've got, oh, I, I mashed out the melon <laughs> and everything. okay. There's no rules. We're just having fun You've here. got brie and, yeah. and fig? Well, we're here in New York City today, so okay. obviously we're not going to find our campfire in yeah. the studio. But one of the best ways to recreate this in your home, if you're at home and don't have a bonfire near you, uh, you can just use a cast iron grill pan, okay. turn it up to high heat, that'll recreate uh, our a campfire experience. Yeah. Oh, that's the one that's already done over here. And we're just going to put it right here on the pan. One to two minutes, I would say, like 30 seconds aside. Yeah, the, the classic sizzle right there. Um, and then we have, so we have the brie. And look at that. That looks exactly like a marshmallow, kind of. Maybe <laughs> uh, that's the point of it. And then so we, we have this. a little bit of arugula. Yeah, you can turn it like that. Maybe we'll get some grill marks. Oh, I didn't. Not quite yet. Sorry, I'll leave it. And then look at that. We have... Ooh. That's our uh, our brie fig and smashable one. too. Okay. Smashable, it's important. Ooh. Totally Ooh. smashable. And if you look and tell us about the last one. Yeah. yeah, this is so charcut charcuterie, or we can call it a veggie plate, depending <laughs> on where you are in the country. <laughs> right, wherever you are. Okay? We're not in Pennsylvania. No, today. no, today no politics. Not, today we're calling it campfire <laughs> charcuterie. Okay. And the best thing about charcuterie is it's DIY. You can make it however you want to make it. This is just one of my favorite ways. And so what we're gonna do here is we're adding some Genoa salami, but you can use whatever you like. You can use uh, pepperoni if you wanted to and then we're gonna add some white cheddar cheese right Ooh. to the top and for this one we're actually going to like grill the right. salami and oh. not the cheese on this one. Right. Wait, you said this was white mozzarella cheese. I'll white just, cheddar. White, white cheddar. cheddar. I'll just taste it to make and sure. And then we're adding just on top some small little sliced cornichons just for fun. Sorry. And then we're gonna do... Oh, you're doing <laughs> it that way? Yeah. Okay, we're doing it like this today. And then we got we're just gonna throw them on there and do a cheers moment mm. here. And you're gonna have one already done. I'll pass it over. All right. There you go. All right. Cheers. <laughs> Camp, uh, savory s'mores three ways. There's no Cheers. easy way to eat this. <laughs> and you're going to bite it? There's no... Thank you guys so much, Ajeev and Ezra. The Twins' new album, who just dropped it some meat on the floor? That was, that was uh, Phil. <laughs> Phil did it. It came Your out of the swole. new album, Hornography, available wherever you stream music. And for today's recipe, <laughs> you guys got all quiet. <laughs> you can go to goodmorningamerica.com slash food. Favorite place on the website. <laughs> Get the meat. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.